The uh, Charleston District of the Corps of Engineers has been maintaining all the federal channels in the state of South Carolina for over 130 years. And that includes uh, maintaining channels of the waterway, Georgetown Harbor, and our crown jewel of the district, which is the Charleston Harbor. Um, the, uh, Charleston Harbor is critical to the local, the state, and the national economy. It's the uh, fourth largest container facility on the eastern seaboard. It's one of the 14 strategic ports. And uh, we, we understand that Corps has a critical mission to maintain this, the safe passage of ships into, the, into our port. Um, just dredging in general, uh, dredging is a process of moving sediment from one location to another. And for Charleston Harbor and what we're doing here, is we're removing sediment from the federal channel and moving it to another location. And for this project, that's the Ocean Material Dress Disposal Site. Uh, every year, approximately 3.5 million cubic yards of sediment comes down through North and South Carolina into our harbor, and Charleston District Corps of Engineers removes a good, good portion of that sediment to maintain the federal channel. Uh, there's three types of dredging uh, that we do in Charleston Harbor. In the upper part of the harbor, we do what's called pipeline dredge, uh, which is taking the material and using kind of like a vacuum and moving it onto a disposal area. and the entrance channel, we do a hopper dredge. And then in the Charleston lower section, we do what we see here, and that's the clamshell or bucket dredge. So what we see here is an ARRA stimulus project that was awarded in September 09 to Great Lakes uh, Dock and Dredging out of Chicago. Um, their, their job is to remove 1.5 million cubic yards from the Charleston lower harbor. And you can see in the background, the way it works is the, the bucket goes down into the water, picks up the sediment, and puts it on the scow, which is like the barge right next to the dredge. And then that, that scow is pushed out by a tugboat out to the ocean to what we call the Ocean Material Dredge Disposal Site. And that's a site that was set up with the uh, EPA and the Corps and DNR in all partnership. And it's a safe place to deposit our dredge material from Charleston Harbor. So usually the way it works is there's two scows operating, one that's getting filled up here and one that's on its way or coming back from the ocean. And this is a 24 hour day, seven day a week operation. Um, they've got to remove 1.5 million cubic yards from the, from the harbor. So that'll take about 400 trips with the scows to, uh, to remove all that. The Corps is, is proud to, uh, to have the mission maintain this federal channel and we understand the importance of it to the community, to the state, and to the nation and we are uh, we're committed to making sure that there's a safe passage in and out of our board here in Charleston.